Hello, my name is Tridar. Welcome to part two of the airship tutorial. Let's pick up right where we left off. So we had just finished this phase here. So let's go on to the next one. Let's start at the stern, work our way towards the bow. Let's take a look at our rope here. We got one block there for that. Three blocks here for that rope. Over here, more oak fences. Two of those representing more rope, two more. Right here. And then four more right there. Uh, now let's take a look at the shape of the balloon. So I'm going to uh, trace out the arc of this with the half slabs here. For this, some of this is going to be the oak bark blocks and some of it is going to be the balloon itself. Like so here for this. I'm just going to trace out the outer edges of this. Of course we have a little bit more oak on this side here. It's one of the support bands holding the ship to the balloon itself. Like that there. Now let's take a look at that from the top down there. Take a look at the whole thing. And of course, uh, remember the build is symmetrical. So the, the uh, left side here is identical to the right side. Like so, very difficult and complex shape of a build to do, but I think if we go slow enough, you will be able to accomplish it. So here we have just a little bit of rope here at the front for that there. We finished off this uh, this prow here last time. Another piece of rope here. A lot of rope here. We have uh, several of these large rope bands that uh, stabilize the balloon and hold it against the ship. Like so. Four bits of rope here. I think that's all the rope. So now we need to take a look at the sails. So we'll take a look at this from the back and now from the front. And for the smaller sail at the front again, same deal. And uh, we are going to finish building this today. There's not going to be part three. I'm going to cram all of this into a part two, however long that is going to take. Uh, so next phase here, a bit more rope at the back. More rope here, four blocks there, and another little piece attached to the balloon there. Over here, three bits there. Two more bits here, and four more bits here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the rope. We're going to have uh, eight bits right there. And uh, attached to our frame here, we're going to have, I think, just two bits on the side here. And then a bit there for that, and two bits at the front. All right, let's uh, go back to the stern here and get the shape of everything correct. Of course, we have some oak elements that uh, tie into our balloon as we go. Quite a few there for that, and also uh, quite a few more oak elements out on the side here. Kind of tight and tough to get a good view of this, but I'll do my best. There for that. Let's get a top-down view of the whole segment here. Uh, we have uh, quite a lot of balloon to build. Uh, let's take a look at our sails now. Our large sail at the back here. And 
and the smaller one at the front. I think we've got just a bit more than half of the sails constructed now. All right, next phase. I think uh, for, the, um, for most of these phases, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the ropes, then the balloon, and then the sails. Now, most of the uh, hard, intricate work was taken care of in the previous phases with building the, the ship and all of the, the rigging below there. So a bit of rope here. A bit here attached to this, uh, this wood section. It's coming out like that, just a couple of oak blocks. Two bits of rope there. Uh, one bit of rope here tying in to this oak frame or the bark blocks that we have wrapping around. Two more blocks of oak, I mean of uh, rope, right here, attached to the oak. Four more blocks of rope there. Eight blocks of rope here. Two blocks here. And one block here at the front. So let's go back here. Start at the middle. I think it'd be easier if I just traced out where the balloon goes. And that's the middle of that. So let's take a look at that from the top down. First, remember I'm using the half slabs. Uh, because they have a texture that will help you count things. Uh, there's not too much to count, except maybe on the, uh, the long side there. Let's take a look at the whole thing from the top down. It's definitely taking shape. Of course, we have uh, this oak here. Right there, a little bit here in the middle, and a couple bits out here as well. All right, let's take a look at our sails now. Our large sail here. And this one here at the front. All right, a next phase, a little bit of rope here, a little bit here, and two oak blocks, two more bits of rope, well, no, three bits of rope here. We're finally tying this onto something. Four bits here, eight bits here, another eight here. Uh, no more over there, and but uh, two bits at the front. I think uh, this this piece of uh, rope here is now finished. By the way, and let's go back to the front and count out the shape for the ellipse here. Let's take a look at that from the top down. Try and get it all in the frame. There we go. And we have some wooden elements here, four of those. Three over here. And uh, several here, two and then three. All right, let's take a look at our sails again. Uh, 
and the sail at the front. All right, let's go on to the next phase here. A little bit of rope. Right there, two blocks of rope here. Uh, no more rope over here, finally. We've been building that piece for quite a while. Uh, we have these two bits of rope here, though. Uh, these two bits and this section here and this section here are going to wrap all the way around the balloon. So we're going to be building these for the duration. Looks like we've got about 10 blocks right there. And uh, one little bit here at the front. All right, so that's your rope. Let's go back here and count out the shape for the balloon. So I know uh, these textures can blend together fairly easily, so I want to give you an accurate count of it. All right, so let's take a look at this. Top down there. Let's try and get the whole thing in the frame. There we go. Lots of space in here. Uh, and now for the sails. We have our sail uh, kind of touching our balloon over here a little bit. Right, the sail at the front now. And we will go on to the next phase. So a bit more rope. We finally have this connecting with the back of our balloon here. And I think that uh, since since these rope sections here, as I said, these are going to continue wrapping around the balloon. I probably don't have to remark directly on them because you're going to see it as I place the slabs and everything. And this little bit is uh, tied off here at the front as well. Uh, we're not going to get to any more difficult rope sections until we finish the sails off at the top there, and then they've got sections that uh, will connect to each other, running just all over the place. There we go. And let's take a look at the whole thing from the top down. And back to our sails. Sail at the front. And the next phase here, a little bit of rope. Like I said, I think we can just go ahead and start counting. Counting out the balloon here. You can see as we go along here, the rope attachments and the extra bits of wood that are uh, lashed on top of it.
take a look at the whole thing now. It's a really big balloon. Uh, but like I said, when we started, even though it is a really big balloon, I don't think it's quite large enough to actually provide lift for the size of the ship down here. I think it, I think it would need to be several times larger, probably. Of course, that would depend on what gas you might fill it with. Whether you want to fill it with nice, safe helium or extremely flammable and dangerous hydrogen. Uh, but of course, it, it's a it's a medieval balloon, so it's a, it's mostly floating with uh, magic. go there's set these sails and now for the next phase and a bit more of the balloon now it looks like this little part got chopped off by that block of wood there on both sides Go. Let's get a good top-down view of the whole thing. And take a close look at our sails. Uh, we're going to be finishing up the front sail, it looks like. Fairly shortly. Uh, yep, so we did finish that sail uh, last time, and now what we're doing is putting on this mast here. So I will trace out the mast here. It's just a simple uh, four-block slope. Like so, you just want to move over one block for every four blocks that you go over. Like that there, made out of the oak bark blocks. And of course we have a little bit more troublesome rope on the sides here. Uh, just like we had down here for this, down there, it's going to be the same deal up here for this. All right, next phase, and back to the balloon. I don't think we're even halfway up this balloon. Still a lot to go on it. All right, let's get a top-down view. Right there, and more of this sail here. All right, and we finished this sail last time, but there are some attachment points on the side here three more oak bark blocks and uh, quite a bit of rope right there and it's going to be all for that all right so back to the balloon for the next phase
And at this point here, we're touching our red um, the center line of our red bounding boxes. If you've been keeping up with that, so this will help you stay on track with that. Take a look back over what we just did there, and then we'll take a top-down view. All right, a bit more of this large sale here. And uh, quite a little bit of rope on the sides here. Four blocks there. And uh, several, several rope attachments over here. All right, next phase. Swing back and take a slower look at that. Quite a complicated design, but just take your time and you should be able to eventually get it. Remember, if you have a block or two out uh, in one direction or another, that's completely fine. It is a big organic shape, especially on these sails here. All right, uh, more troublesome rope over here. Four more blocks there. And uh, several blocks over here. All right, next phase. I think we're getting somewhat close to halfway up the balloon. That's good news. Swing back around again, make one little pass, and then we'll take a top-down view, and then look at the sails. All right, still building this sail over here, quite large. And there is another smaller sail that's going to be on top of that. Like so, more rope here. And this one is going to be heading over to attach to the top of this sail in a phase or two. A bit more rope there. And a bit more rope here. All right, uh, next phase. If I'm not mistaken, I think we probably are at the halfway point.
So let's count all this out. There for that. Uh, even though most of that is going to be hidden by the oak bark in front of it, probably. Uh, but wool is not very expensive, so I don't think it's much trouble. Uh, indeed, the entire build is extremely flammable. So, as I said, I hope you do have fire tech off when you are building this. Of course, we have our... We're finished building this... It's a massive billowing sail. So we want to attach the top here to the rest of the superstructure with the same slope that we did for the sail at the front. All right, and there is a really big piece of rope attached right here. It's just a four-block slope. You want to go four blocks, then over, and another four blocks, over one, another four, over one, another four, and so on and so forth, till you get to this point here. All right, a bit of rope there. And uh, these points are attaching to the rest of the balloon here. There and almost here. All right, and next phase. So we are officially halfway up the balloon now. And probably uh, two-thirds done with the ship, I would think. So that's good news. Let's take a look at that from the top down. And uh, let's see, we already built that long piece of rope, so we just got some additional attachment points up here. Three blocks there for that one, and then this one fully attaches to that sail here. To help uh, lash everything together and stabilize things. Little piece of rope there, and pieces here that join all that together down there. All right. I think uh, we just have the balloon to work on for a couple of phases. So that'll be a little easier. For that, well, that uh, that line doesn't count. And uh, once we got past that uh, that halfway line there that I talked about in the uh, uh, previous phase or two ago, um, on top of that, the balloon is uh, it should be symmetrical. By the way. So, in other words, this uh, this lower half here, uh, what we built on top of that, for the most part, with some small exceptions, 
should be the same. Uh, I don't really know if that will help you build it any quicker, though. But I did want to point that out. Uh, what do we have over here? So we have a little bit of rope right here. What, uh, six blocks? For that, um, I think that's all there is on that things. Not too difficult. I think now we're going to be slowly start to curve our balloon over. You can see it uh, it's hanging over a couple of blocks on the inside here. Right down here. Right. Top down view. I may have neglected to do, uh, do the top down view in the last couple of phases, actually. Uh, but it's so high up, I don't know how useful it's actually going to be anymore. All right, so we have a little bit of rope right here. And, uh, and I think that's it. So next phase here, and of course building building more of our balloon. And uh, barring this uh, this other little sail we're going to be constructing here, uh, the rest of the build is going to be constructing this uh, giant balloon, pretty much. And all of the various ropes going hither and thither around the build. I don't know if all the ropes are actually needed. Or it would be used, I just, uh, I wanted to add a, a cool amount of ropes. So that's what I did for those. Just enough to where it looks nice. Alright. And we have another one of these uh, these lower sections for the sail. Uh, rem remember this spar we built down here where we're going to be doing another one of those. And building another sail on top of this. Of course, it has the same slope. Four blocks out and move uh, back and over one for that there. And then we want to attach our rope here like so, and then do a four and over one, the same slope, to attach that over here. Uh, and you may even want to have an additional, an additional block of uh, rope there, now that I'm looking at it. And uh, that's going to be all there is for that, so let's move on to the next one. All right, top down. Uh, let's see. 
start over here. We have the lowest most portions of another sail beginning to take to uh, take shape right there. And some bits of sail and rope right there. And we can go on to the next phase. We'll just trace out the next part of the balloon here. And from the top down. So let's look at the sail. This is the last sail that we will be constructing. And it looks like we also have some more unconnected rope. We need to need to fix that. We need to have all our rope connected. I think it's just that one piece of rope. So we can move on to the next one. And a bit more of the balloon. Which should go quicker each phase we go, because there will be less and less balloon to build. And about the same amount of sail. Of phases, we will be entering the home stretch. All right, top down view. And our small sail here. And uh, all this rope that needs to be connected. Connect that there and, and like that there. Just a few additional blocks. All right, back to the balloon. And from the top down. All right, a bit more of our sail here. It's a small sail, not too much to look at. And to go back and connect all this rope here together. All right. Next phase, you know the drill. More balloon and more sail. And uh, now we're to the point where I think we're going to have some some double blocks hanging over, like this here. So try and place those. All 
like that there. And as I said, if you need to, you can use the you can use the lowermost portions of the balloon as a guide to help you with the ellipse here. It should all be the same or the shape anyway. So let's take a look down here in the middle. So you can see we have uh, quite a lot of symmetry around this line here. The bottom portion's there and uh, that side section there. It's going to be the same, so if you need to, you can use that as an additional check on yourself. And uh, let's take a look over here at these sails. And uh, connect all of this rope together again. Like that there, and uh, that's probably going to be all that rope, I think. All right, next phase. And our sail over here. All right, back to the balloon again. It's really starting to round off here at the top now. So I think at this level, we can definitely say that we are in the home stretch of this build. A bit more of this sail. And the next phase over here. Top down view. And our sail. All right, back to the balloon here. And I think I'm just going to trace out the inner edge of this, and uh, you can more easily see. The additional blocks you will need to place just so you don't have any holes in your balloon. That'd be really bad. The whole thing deflated on you. There we go. And take a closer look in here. All right, over here, a bit more of this sail. And the next phase here. Looks like we're almost getting ready to stop building this balloon. We've been doing for quite a long time.
right there. And the sale on the side. All right, next phase. Going to be the end of the balloon. Yay. Uh, anyway, here is, you need to build a, a bit more of oak back here for this thing. We have a flag we're going to be attaching to that. And uh, in, in the middle here, you can just fit, fill all that in with blue wool. On the sides here, we have a bit of oak and a bit of rope wrapping around. A lot of rope here at the front. And let's take a look at our sail here. All right, next phase. Uh, we finished off that sail, so now we are constructing the top spar of it and, of course, a big section of rope. So we need to have that rope attached to something. So uh, where I where I pointed out over there with uh, with those slabs, that is this here. Except we just have three for a rope attachment. And it's going to come out for two, and then over one, and then over four. It's this same one to four slope with the rope that I pointed out that we've done until it attaches to the spar over here. And uh, for the spar itself, let's count go over here and count from the uh, the middle. We want to count out this here. It's got the same slope as the rope, by the way. A one to four slope for that there. And your rope should end up attaching somewhere around here. Uh, all right, now we do have a slight asymmetry at this point for it's it's one of the flags that does is waving from the top of our ship and that's going to be done with uh, with those three blocks there and these these are just floating so if you need to you can count over up uh count up what up two blocks and then over and then over three All right, so we have the balloon done. We have the sails done. And now we're going to be building the flags at the top and just a bit more of a, a rigging, a little bit more. Of course, we're not done with the rope just yet. A bit more rope here for that. Five blocks of oak there. And a bit more of this flag here. This is the smaller flag at the back. We do have a larger one at the front. And over here as well, we have uh, these, this oak here for our crow's nest. Of course, as we did the build, you can see we have a ladder here. And um, that's because uh, somewhere down through here, if you want to, you should be able to uh, knock, knock some blocks out. Well, maybe not those blocks. Uh, these, the, these blocks here from this, like so, and you can extend up this ladder. And it may or may not, it should meet up somewhere, somewhere around here, so you can have a ladder up to crawl directly up to your crow's nest. Uh, but I will leave it to you if you want to install that or not. Uh, over here on the next phase, we got that there, and this, that bit of flag there. Over here in the middle, a couple of blocks there for that. And I think we do have a little bit of rope out here. I mean, of course we have more rope. All right, next phase, blocks there for that flag. And uh, same deal for this here. 
And of course, uh, a bit more rope. All right, next phase, home stretch now. A couple of blocks there for that flag. More blocks here for this thing here. And more rope. Next phase. A couple of blocks there to finish off that flag. And uh, here we have now a platform for our crow's nest for you to stand on. Like so, just some half slabs laid out around there. And of course, uh, you know, more rope. All right, to finish this little flag off back here, just one little piece of rope right there and uh, maybe a torch if you want to on top of that for a little bit of lighting. Over here, of course, uh, a bit more rope. And some fences around here as guardrails for you to be able to walk on top of your crow's nest. Right there. All right, uh, next phase. We are uh, only, only now working on this top section here by the crow's nest. Of course, more rope. You can see it's heading up to a slope. It's gonna be connecting to something at the top. Right there, so let's just go on to the next phase after that. Right here, a couple of blocks there. Uh, well, wait a minute. So we have the, this flag here. This is the first uh, floating block out from our flag. So let me count that out for you. So from this 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 point here, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 nine, ten, eleven, and then over two, and then place place your block right there. All right, here you can see we have our rope connecting to the superstructure here of the crow's nest. Of course, we had to build this higher so we could have uh, attachments for our spar for our upper sails. There, over here, you can use uh, you can use uh, this block here. We've already placed as a guide to help you place these blocks here for this very large flag blowing in the breeze. Right there. Couple of blocks of wood there, and we'll start uh, this point here. And move out from that. We now have it attaching to the top of our mast here. And like so. Next phase, just building this flag now. That's all we've got left to do. So, a little bit more there for that. A few blocks there. few blocks here for this. Couple of blocks there for that. And then I believe we, of course, to cap the whole thing off, we have one final little piece of rope right up here at the top and then maybe a torch on top of that. And then once you have done that, your medieval sailing ship slash uh, combination hot air balloon, uh, whatever you want to call this, uh, a medieval airship, will be at long last complete. So I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial for the medieval airship. Of course, remember the world is available or download in the video description in case you need to come here and take a look at it for yourself. And I don't blame you because this is, as I said, an 11 out of 10 on the difficulty scale. Uh, but I do hope you have enjoyed it and have a lot of fun in your new airship. I want to thank you very much for watching. 
and I will see you next time.